All right, Leslie Matrices um, are next. They are to do with population growth. So we're continuing from Leon Tiff Matrices and a little bit similar. Um, they are three by three in this particular case because we are looking at populations where the age is going to be equal to one, two, or three only. After age three, we just assume that they die. So that's why it's three by three. So you, it could be bigger, um, but that's all we're going to look at right now. Um, and uh, so f the top row here, the Fs, so this is fecundity, which is the fertility. So it's the number of female offspring that each female will produce at a particular age. So because we're talking about age one, two, and three, so these each of these columns and each of these rows matches up to a particular age. So F1 is the number there is going to be the number of off of female offspring that each female that's one year old will produce and so on. So up to three is the number of offspring that a three a three year old female, the number of female offspring, we're only interested in females in these examples because they're the only ones that can can bear um, female babies for the next generation. Okay, so the the other numbers we have a four zeros in here, but then we have an S one and an S two. And this is going to be the proportion let's say if it was 50% you would have a 0.5 um, because this S1 would represent um, the number of one-year-olds that survive into the next year. Okay, so if 50% of them survive we'd have a 0.5 and so similar to the previous example we can think of on the top they're from and on the right is two. So from so this S1 is from age 1 into age 2. And of course the S2 is similar from age 2 into age 3. It's the proportion that survive. So if you think you can imagine then why all these other ones are 0 if you think about that for just a minute. Because um, those will always be 0 in this in these examples. So, um, and of course we'll, we will times this matrix, this matrix L by a starting population. So NR, which is going to be a three by three matrix. So this is going to have three numbers, one, two, three. That'll be our starting population. And of course to find the first year, we just times this matrix L times matrix R. So that would give us N2, which is the number in the second year, if N1 is the starting year. And we'll keep to, to get subsequent years. All we do is repeatedly times by this matrix L in the front. And so when we get to a higher one, we're actually multiplying NR. We're multiplying R minus 1 of this L matrix okay, times, times our starting. Because um, our N1 didn't have an L in it. It was just N1. So N6, if you were to looking at the population in the sixth year, you would times the matrix L to the power 5, so that you multiply it together 5 times, and then times that by the initial population. Okay, so we'll look at an example. If here's a Leslie matrix um, of a female rat population, and the year 1 population, 55 1-year-olds, 32 2-year-olds, and 25 three-year-olds. So first question, what does 2.4 mean in L? So that's the fecundity rate of two-year-olds. So this is the number of female offspring each two-year-old female Produces on average. Um, 
the female rat population in year two. Uh, let's do B. Um, N2 is just L times N1. So just in your calculator. All right, in my calculator, I've entered the three by three matrix L in matrix A. I have entered the three by one matrix for the starting population in B. So I just need to times this the other. Matrix one times matrix two. And so I get N2 equals 122.3. Um, all right, so these are the totals we get. And so the total female rat population is the total female population is just the one year olds, the two year olds, the three year olds all added together. So 122.3 plus 27.5 plus 19.3 is 169. Um, part C, what we do is N6 equals L to the 6 minus 1 is 5 times N1. So in the calculator, A to the power of 5 times matrix B, and there's my answer. And it's, okay, this is the answer I get. So the females, we just add those those all up. 521.9 plus 171.9 plus 73.3. And you get 767.1. So the total males plus females, it's just going to be two times that. Um, 767.1 equals 1534.2. Um, therefore, total rat population in year six is 1534. Done.